Hello, it's day 333, and I want to talk about eating to satisfaction. When I first started intuitive eating, I was terrified that I was going to lose my ability to enjoy food. That's something that happened to me in the past when I was dieting. I would fixate so heavily on healthy food and the amount of food that I was eating that I would stop enjoying foods as much. I would eat a slice of pizza. It would be my cheat day or whatever I was calling it back then. I would eat that slice of pizza and I wouldn't enjoy it very much because I knew that it was the last slice of pizza I could have until weeks later or maybe even months later depending on how bad my binging cycle became at the time. But ever since starting intuitive eating, I have been eating less, but I've been enjoying it more. If anything, I enjoy food more now than I ever did when I was dieting. It's a strange idea because I do think that Americans have a broken idea of what satisfaction means when it comes to food. We eat so much food during the day. So much food that would be considered so decadent and rich. Sugary foods, chocolatey foods, foods filled with salt, foods filled with fat. We eat so much of it, way beyond the point of satisfaction or feeling full. But we do that because we're expecting some kind of extra enjoyment out of more of it. If, if you eat to the point of fullness, over fullness, that means you're more satisfied than the person who's dieting. I think that so many of us have experienced bad restrictive diets in the past that we don't really know what it means to be satisfied anymore. But when you actually get to that point where you can eat food without moralizing it, without saying, I'm bad for feeling this way, I'm bad for enjoying this food, I think that you get to a place where you actually can decide what you really like, that you don't just eat things because it's there or because you're supposed to like it. I surprised myself. There was a lot of foods that I thought I liked that I don't. And there's a lot of foods that I never thought I would crave that I do. It's a weird feeling. And until you go through intuitive eating, you can't really understand.